I go back to your book, Gabrielle, where you talk about raising black boys in this world. But now that you have daughters mm -hmm. and you have done this show, do you still think that raising black boys is harder than raising girls? Different challenges. They're both equally tough. And, it, and each kid is so different. Our, our Neff son is very aware. Nothing, like he notices everything. Whereas, you know, our 20 year old is like, what? <laughs> There's a camera? You're like, what? You know, so you have to kind of meet your kid where they're at. And so with like Zaya, Zaya is very um, attentive and she doesn't miss a beat. And she's like, she's so smart. She's so smart. Like we stopped helping with homework, probably like first grade. She shot past us. But where Cobb is so like, let's sing and there's roses. And, and the, is that a unicorn? Like she's just so open and she loves people. And you have to, we're gonna have to deal with this sort of stuff differently with them. You know, a child that is sees everything as, as the glass is half full and, and is open to, you know, all people. And then there's a child that's more weary that that will not need this, the exact same. So you got to know your kid and you have to know how to reach them. And you have to have very honest, blunt, clear conversations. Like, I mean, we, I mean our, our family lives out loud. We've been having to have difficult, uncomfortable conversations their whole lives. We live in port cities. Port cities, they're hubs for, for human trafficking. And you you can think that you can price your way or educate your way or uh, high socioeconomic status your way out of danger, and you absolutely cannot. That would be your first mistake. And we have to can expand the conversation. So when trauma and abuse is happening to black and brown girls, we believe them when they tell us. This is a symbiotic relationship that we have to have. You know, when, when people speak, we have to listen and act. We can't make folks complicit in their own abuse mm. like we do to black and brown victims. We have to prioritize, we have to center and prioritize all pain, all trauma. That is why we take this this, this show, this job, uh, the subject matter so seriously because children's lives, folks' lives, are literally hanging the balance.